you guys uh, anyway yeah John fix a fence uh, coming to you with a little bit more content for the channel on uh, cash for tizing uh, written by Drew Eric Whitman <clears throat> and so I remember last time we went over a little bit about eagle morphing you know like uh, you know if uh, the Marlboro man <laughs> you know uh, if you're a smoking cool and then you see a commercial about the Marlboro man you want to be just like that Marlboro man so they've already Eagle morphed you into stop smoking the cool and start smoking the Marlboro. That's just one example in here. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, go on to uh, the next one, which is uh, uh, the principle of transfer credibility. So it's credibility by osmosis. And uh, I guess what they mean by that is, uh, you know, it's, he says, uh, no matter how wonderful your ad, brochure, sales letter, web page, email, radio, TV commercial, if your prospects don't believe you, you're flushed, you've flushed your ad money down the toilet. Your offer must be credible. And I guess what they mean by that is like, say, for instance, um, proactive. Okay, proactive is just one of the dozens of acne products being hawked today. However... It is the only one featuring singer Jessica Simpson testifying to its effectiveness. Young girls suffering from the skin condition, this skin condition, uh, this is all the endorsement they need. I mean, so that's the credibility by osmosis. Um, and if you can't get a full endorsement or testimonial, for example, uh, he says uh, you can achieve similar success by spotlighting regularly recognized symbols that carry the weight of the endorsement. And uh, so, in my line of business, uh, the Better Business Bureau. Uh, I'm endorsed by the Better Business Bureau. You can look me up on there. Um, and uh, so it's kind of cool how things work. And uh, because of the Life Force 8 that we talked about, these desires that are built into us. Um, <clears throat> and, and, you know, there's another, some other learned secondary human wants that are really kind of built into us too. But we, we you know, Anyway, so the, we want to be informed, we're curious, um, and we're clean of our body, surround, body and surroundings. I mean, my goodness, why do we buy so much soap, perfume and all that stuff? Uh, efficiency, we want it right now, like the microwave, coffee. That's efficient right there. <laughs> and so uh, what else they have here? Um, convenience. You know, like I said, microwave, pretty convenient. Um, dependability, quality, you know, we, we want things to be dependable um, and we want the quality. But unfortunately, you know, with things going on here in America, you know, the quality's really gone downhill, you know. And, uh, but one thing for sure is I can be dependable. If a customer calls me, they can depend on me to get out there, you know, when I say I'm going to get out there depending on the circumstances, obviously, you know, because uh, what if a truck breaks down, a driver calls in sick, what if, you know, but the main thing is if I stay in contact with them, I think that's all they really need. That's called customer service. And that's one thing everybody should provide, regardless of the quality here in America. Um, and then we have expression, beauty of style, expression of beauty and style, e economy and profit. I mean, come on, let's talk about that, right? And the bargains, right? I mean, who doesn't want a bargain? My goodness, wood prices skyrocketed, uh, but they're coming down, you know? I mean, my goodness, what else has uh, gone up? You know, coffee, <laughs> you know? Uh, I've been listening to this one guy every now and then called the Ninja, uh, uh, the Economic Ninja. And by the way, guy, thank you for what you're putting out here on the YouTube channels uh, or the YouTube videos for us. Uh, <laughs> kind of opening my eyes I went and got some coffee and I stocked up a little bit you know um, but yeah there's a lot of things I'm not no crypto guy you know I don't get into that stuff you know but I just kind of provide a service for uh, these guys that need these fences that are broke down you know and installed uh, my goodness you know there's a gold mine out there really waiting for anybody to take opportunity on uh, uh, Anyway, I'm starting to ramble here, guys, uh, but uh, 
the next one we went on uh yeah we talked about uh, uh credibility here so the next one we're going to get into uh would be the bandwagon effect give them something to jump on you know like give them a pickle you know like kind of like les schwab you know i mean think about les schwab Les Schwab, man, they run out there to you. And and what do they do? They give you a bag of popcorn while you sit there and wait and they take your money. You know, even if you don't need that brake repair, even if you don't need this, well, they're gonna probably talk you into it because why? Well, you got a bag of popcorn out of the deal. <laughs> it happens. Um, you know, there's, there's other things like that. You give away freebies, you know, I mean, my goodness, people got a smile on their face. You know, that's why I do these mugs, really. <clears throat> you know, when the customers, pay their bills or whatever they they sign a contract i give them a couple of mugs you know they're going to remember me you know they're going to have this in their hand drinking their coffee in the morning and they're going to go wow that john sure is a nice coffee mug can't say too much for the guy but no <laughs> anyway they'll say whatever they want to say when they see this but you know the point is if i provide customer service good customer service and quality work with the materials that we have here in america you know what <clears throat> they're going to say good things around that table when they're drinking that coffee out of the coffee mug bet on it and i bank on it and i don't know about you but maybe that's what you guys should do too bank on some of this stuff that you're learning from the youtube channels I mean, my goodness, these guys have been through it before. They're not stupid. These guys are gurus, you know? So listen to them, um, you know, and, and just, you know, kind of weigh it out, you know? If it doesn't fit, it don't, it don't fit your narrative, well then, you know, go on to the next channel, you know, or go on to the next video, whatever, right? I mean, <laughs> go on to the next business venture, right? You know, whatever, whatever floats your boat and tweaks your beak, you know? So, but whatever, hey, um, <clears throat> More content on the Fix Fence channel. Um, cash advertising, written by uh, Drew Eric Whitman, like I said in the beginning. Anyway, again, John of Fix a Fence here, mending broken fences. Have a great day.